Hi, my name is Kevin McCoy for AmericanEnglish.state.gov. I'm with my friend Curtis Chan, and we're going to show you some board games today for practicing English. These are ready-to-go resources. That means you can download them right now for free and use them in your classroom if you're a teacher or with your friends and family at home if you want to. Here's the first game. These come from Activate, Games for Learning American English, and they're speaking and thinking games. I say thinking games because you get to express your opinion, and there are many correct answers in these games. They look like this. Board games are games that you play on a table. Here are some of our games that will be available, and this one would rather is available right now. You can print them this size or this size. That depends on you, how you print them. What do you need to play a board game? Four things. You need players, and we can see people there. You need the game board itself, a die or dice, that's that cube with dots on it, one through six, and game pieces. You can see the coins, a paper clip, those are game pieces. If you don't have dice where you live, it's easy to make them. In fact, in the downloadable instructions for our board games, we give you guidelines to making your own dice. Here's a couple examples of innovative ways people have made a something similar to dice. Uh, uh, this pencil has the numbers 1 through 6 written on it, and this egg carton also has 1 through 6 with a little stone inside. You close the lid and shake it up, and one number is selected. You can also crumple up pieces of paper, use coins. There are many ways. So here's our first board game available for download. Would you rather and why? Let's get to it and play this game and see how it works. Here's a closer view. I'm going to play with Curtis here. We've got all the materials on our desk right now. And we're going to play just as you might in a classroom. Curtis, you get to go first. We're going to put our game pieces where it says start. It's time. Okay. And our game pieces are we have a paper clip and a coin. Okay, so rolling the dice. Four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. So, Curtis, would you rather live in an, a, a house or an apartment? I would rather live in an apartment because it's smaller and easier to clean. That's a very good point. Okay, it's always important to say why. Now it's my turn. I'm the coin. I got a one. So I move one space here. Would I rather be a baker, a dentist, or an accountant? Okay, numbers are out. No accountant. Dentist? I like people's teeth, but I don't want my fingers in there. So I'm going to have to be a baker. I would rather be a baker. Plus, bakers make people happy. They bring sweet stuff to people. But they wake up very early. Maybe I could be a kind of a different kind of baker, like a midnight baker. Hmm. 
All right, we're going to do one more round. Let's see, Curtis, you're on the you're on space number four right now, and we're going to go ahead three more. One, two, three. Ah, is that right? Yeah, that's right. Go back four steps. Oh, no, he has to go back four. So now he has another question. What would you rather learn and why? I would rather learn Chinese because I've already started learning Chinese, so it would be easier for me. Okay. Good answer. I am now on space number one, and I'm rolling the die. And I get a two. And so I have the same question. Now that's not a problem, I think, because everybody has their own opinion. And there's no correct answer. So what would I rather learn? Arabic, Chinese, or Spanish? Well, I would rather know Arabic or Chinese, if I could sort of magically know one, because those are difficult languages. But I think I'd rather learn Spanish because it's, I think it's easier, having grown up in California. Ah, uh, yeah, that's that's a, that's not a good answer. <laughs> Why not? I would like to get more success more quickly. Okay, I I see that. All right, so that's how we play the game, and you can see, in the classroom how groups can play this. And even if you land on the same space, more than one person, um, we can answer the same question more than once. Here are some more would-rather questions, as you can see. So I think we see how that game works. Now, how do you download the games? It's very easy. You go to AmericanEnglish.state.gov and look for Activate. You can also search for board games. Here you'll find the general instructions and templates. These are the general instructions here. It tells you about board games and how to play. And there are downloadable instructions. Now, currently, we have two games on AmericanEnglish.state.gov. Would you rather, which we just played, and name your favorite? We will be putting additional games up every two, three weeks or so. So keep an eye out for more games. So right there you can see that one game is called Name Your Favorite. Now if I click there, I have an option to download the instructions or the board game. You see circled in red here, Name Your Favorite Board Game. And we can download that. Name Your Favorite looks like this. The game is smaller here. This comes from the instructions and we can see the content on every square. Curtis and I are going to play again just one time to get an idea how it's done. So we're going to put our tokens, our game piece on start again. This time I'll go first, Curtis. All right. I get a three and you can see that I'm going to say what is my favorite fruit and why? Three would be cold drink, right? One, two, three. Curtis is right. <laughs> I start on season, I go to fruit, and my favorite cold drink, and why? Um, I think my favorite cold drink is watermelon juice. I know it's kind of rare, but just fresh squeezed watermelon juice is fantastic. Would you rather know. have watermelon juice or watermelon fruit? Well, I love them both, so it would be hard to say. But right now, I'd rather have watermelon juice because it's not as messy. Hmm. 
All right, take us a uh, roll of the die, Curtis, and four. So we got one, two, three, four, and it's your favorite hot drink. Uh, that's hard because it's very hot today. I think but I know uh, what your favorite hot drink is. I think I'd have to go with coffee. <laughs> yeah, coffee because it gives me energy. Yeah, I would too, and I love the flavor of it. So we can see, we can go all the way to the end of the board game, each of us expressing our opinion. If we had a group of four students, that would be fine as well, each of us expressing our opinion. Here's some of the other favorites. Now, one thing that's great about games in Activate is, as I've already said, they're thinking games. There is no correct answer. But there are also variations in the instructions. So if you play with your students one week and want to play again, the next week, you can use one of the variations. So we're going to try again. I'm going to roll the die from where I stopped, which was cold drink. But this time we're going to play the game with least favorite. So I move four from cold drink. One, two, three, four. My least favorite place to spend a day. <laughs> well, um, Gosh, where's my least favorite place to spend a day? Probably at the dentist. I'm not too crazy about going to the dentist. Not that I spend the day there all the time. Yeah, I hate that noise, the drill noise. It just And the taste of <laughs> all that stuff. You want to try, Curtis? Sure, let's go. So I was on hot drink. Yeah, you're on hot drink right now. You're three. Ready. One, two, three. My least place, favorite place to spend a day. Um, well, I don't like the dentist either, but I'll change it to be the DMV, the Department of Motorized Vehicles, because there are always long lines. They are known for having long lines there. That is true. Okay, so let's try... So we could go on through the rest of the game and talk about our least favorite. So it's great for generating speaking practice because everybody has their own opinion. It doesn't matter really if it's um, for beginners or for advanced, do you think, Curtis? No, you could you could adapt this for more advanced. You could make them use specific grammatical patterns or you could even have them play a character and say what they think that character's favorite or least favorite thing would be. So yeah. that could work well. That's another good variation. You'll see that name your favorite is suited for lower level learners more than would you rather. However, you know, people with advanced English also have their favorites. And uh, they can express their opinions in an advanced way, whereas beginning learners may express their ideas more simply. So, once again, to download, You'll see, go to Activate Games for Learning English or search for board games. And look here, you can also download Board Game Template, which means we give you a blank template of a board game. It's empty. So that means you or your students can be supply their own content. Think of a theme for the game, create your own content. Here's some that have been done without using the template here, but just drawing on two pieces of regular paper. There's a which one is different game, which is designed just with pens. And here's one that was designed on a pizza box. That's a very beautiful design, I think. And you get to eat pizza first, so that that's always a plus. Hopefully, yeah. And here you can see um, five students playing one of our Activate board games. Right there, it's just a regular um, binder paper size p 
piece of paper, and everyone's standing up. Sometimes there's more room when we're standing up and playing. And look, they're having fun. So you know how to download? Just search for board games at American English, and you can get the instructions and the board games, bring them into your classroom, and learn English through play. What a great way to get students practicing English. And they always have a lot of fun, too, because, you know, it's, it's something different and fun. Great. Thank you, everybody. This has been Kevin McCoy with Curtis Chan from American English. Hope you like these board games.